Eric, we've been talking this morning about the Trester product and the Flowtherm products and how they work together. There's clearly a feedback loop that occurs through that. How important is that as an element of yeah. the offering that you have today? My background is simulation and I heavily believe in the correlation between simulation and test. Uh, I think it's a necessity to verify simulation results by test results. Trista allows us to ca uh, characterize thermal you know, uh, resistance and thermal mm -hmm. capacity, and that allows us, for example, to compare the simulation results of a detailed 3D IC package you know, with measurement results. Yeah, and, and that's clearly important. And one of the areas, you, we talked about the, uh, the IC packages, but we also talked about LED today. That's a, uh, an area of the industry that's getting a great deal of interest. It's kind of... Uh, an area that the EMS companies, the ODMs, are all actively taking part in at the moment. Was was this product um, opportunist in finding its way into that market, or has it specifically got elements that are designed for LED? So, so in addition to Trista, we offer Terralet, and Terralet mm -hmm. was designed, you know, for the LED market space. Uh, and that design or that investment in that design is really going to pay off because what I can clearly share is that the LED horizontal at this point in time is our fastest industry horizon fastest growing industry horizontal on the hardware and yeah. on the software simulation side as well. Okay, and that's the one where you do have a hardware offering. Um, that's is that something that mentors done in the past actually provide hardware offering? Or is that something that's quite unusual? Uh, that kind of offering, you know, yeah. uh, is or was new to mentor. Yeah. Okay. But I think based off the success we have shown over the last two years, mm. yeah, it's it was a proof, yeah, so to say, was, to go well into that direction. It kind of it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Because this, the solution only works if you've got that test and measurement yep. device. So that's yep. important. Okay. The other area I was interested in, and it was something that you gave examples of in your presentation, uh, was how the software operates in the supply chain. Yep. So companies that perhaps are manufacturing um, headlights for automotive companies or supplying components into those, the software would be required at different points in the, in the supply chain. But how do those points in the supply chain interact with each other? Yeah. So uh, let me answer with, with uh, to, uh, to your question with two answers. So when we, for example, develop our software and go for customer requests, yeah, we work closely together with the OEMs and the tier one and two, tier two suppliers as well. So we just uh, finished um, such an exercise, you know, where OEM uh, designers were around the table as well as the tier one and tier mm -hmm. two designers to articulate their wishes. And it's, so to say, a joint effort. Uh, the other thing is, yes, uh, if they want uh, to exchange models yeah, or result files, they can do that. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it would make sense because then, you know, you have, so to say, the native data and do not have to reproduce the data and reinvent the wheel for a second time. Yeah, yeah, so it's possi possible, yeah. yeah, it's only a question, you know, to capture maybe IP or things like that. Yeah, yeah. and it's a, it's a question of yeah. willingness and interaction yes. between yes. those yes. people. Um, last question, where in terms of the development of this product or this product group, whereabouts is it in terms of, of launch and beta testing and what kind of feedback have you had from the market? Well, we have a very detailed beta program in general in place within mm -hmm. Mentor Graphics. So uh, <coughs> after uh, the development is finished, we have usually what we call an engineering release being used in-house by our own application engineers. And then we go for detailed beta programs really to get customer feedback, you know, not only to use uh, our solutions, you know, in what, what I would call an ivory tower environment, mm -hmm. really to, 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 to make them use uh, our applications, you know, in a real environment. Yeah. Okay. And then after that, we go for what we call a production release. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Well, Eric, all the best with that. Thank you very much for talking to me and thank My you pleasure. for your time.